Hi, welcome to Queen of the Ring, the podcast that wants to talk to you all about women's wrestling. My name is Alexa. Before I get started today, I want to say welcome to everybody, maybe some first-time listeners, possibly. If you enjoy the show and you feel like it, uh, if you don't mind giving it a review or a star review on your preferred listening platform, I would really appreciate it, but there is never any pressure, obviously. Kind of like the last episode that I did, this episode is going to be a mini one, tiny. I'm going to be talking about the homage that Mercedes Monet paid to Hana Kimura at her wrestling debut at New Japan Pro Wrestling. Since I started this podcast, I've been wanting to do an episode about Hana Kimura, and lately I've been working on one to be released in the next coming months. I mean, my uploading is a little bit hectic because this is just something I do for fun. So it's kind of all over the place sometimes. So I ask for everyone's patience or whoever's listening's patience. But I'm hoping to put it out. And I'm just a big fan of hers. And I want to celebrate her at all times. And I was just ecstatic to see that Mercedes Vernado felt the same way. So, in this long-awaited debut match at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Battle in the Valley, Mercedes Monet, formerly known as Sasha Banks, honored the late wrestler Hana Kimura. Coming into the ring for her first time, Mercedes sported Kimura's signature color scheme, silhouette, and gas mask. Hana Kimura passed away in 2020 at the age of only 22 years old. She made her career in stardom, a wrestling company that Mercedes herself has discussed as one of the best in the world. Kimura made her name in winning Stardom's five-star Grand Prix tournament in 2019, and that very same year, she won the Fighting Spirit Award and was just a really interesting and cool presence in the company. And in wrestling, paying homage to those who you are a big fan of is really common and important part of storytelling because there's a way that fashion assists in forming identity. Um, it can be seen through different spheres of like entertainment, film, books. Obviously, in real ass life, you see people <laughs> who wear certain things to show you who they are kind of but specifically professional wrestlers gain power gain identity and strength through the clothes that they wear because fashion tells stories and wrestlers personas can really blossom within the outfits and stories they choose to tell therefore but beyond mercedes's outfit and accessories something i thought was so interesting was that her hair kind of told the story When she made her debut last month, you know, coming out to say what's up to Kyrie, her she had like cropped her hair into a bob that was also debuted to the fans because and Mercedes has tended to tell stories through her hair previously. Like when she debuted her long blue hair um, at the WWE, she was coming off this like Um, time away and she before had had long magenta fuchsia hair um, and she kind of like dramatically revealed to the fans that she was now blue she was the blueprint but it was important to her she had said in interviews at the time that it was a big deal um, because she had been taking a break from wrestling and her blue hair was a new start it was a new you know Sasha Banks So with her cropped bob at NJPW in the ring, she's telling another story, you know, like Mercedes is known for her fire and her hair is a representation of that spectrum of a flame, you know, the blue and orange anatomy that exists inside of a flame. And in this wrestling debut, 
this last Saturday. Monet featured light pink roots coming in at the top into her blue bob. Kimura was known for the baby pink hair that she would rock in the ring, so I feel like this was an even further head nod to Kimura, like blatantly showing how they are cuts of the same cloth and that Monet will be bringing her memory into the future. The pink coming out of her roots reveals the similarities between the two and the bond. You know, like, Mercedes has all eyes on her right now, and by honoring Hanakamura, she's bringing her name and image to millions of more fans. And even more special, Kimura was a massive fan of Sasha Banks, which is Monet's obviously previous character in the WWE, so, like, the solidarity would have rung so true for her. And there is such power in honoring Hana, with Mercedes making her first steps in a company that Hana Kimura had graced with her presence previously. And, I mean, I'm really coming at the end. This is going to be a really short episode, but I recently also watched Mercedes Vernado's video that she put out on YouTube, kind of leading into this match she had on Saturday. And everything that she was talking about, about women's wrestling, it just reminded me of why I love to make this podcast and why I love talking about all of this stuff. I know it's silly, but women's wrestling is like the coolest thing to me. It's just like, it's it's interesting, funny, captivating, and stupid, and goosebumps giving, and heart-wrenching. And she just said a lot of similar stuff in her video that she made and it just made my heart feel very warm and I'll, I'll link it um where you where my like sources and my notes are and stuff but that's mostly it I really just wanted to talk about the ways that she honored her um maybe in a separate episode I'll talk about the match that Mercedes had with Kyrie because I do love both of them so much such a big fan and I'm so excited to see what comes in the future and what happens with Mercedes in this new company. Thank you so much for listening. This is Queen of the Ring. The podcast is written and created by me, Alexa Pruitt, and the music is by Kreider Dane of Helter Skelter Music Productions. If you like what you hear, please give us a review on your preferred listening platform and join us again. Thank you so much.